Hello and welcome to IGEL Tech Channel. My name is Christian Rieling, I'm Senior Systems Engineer at IGEL Technology and in this video I will show you how our ZU Touch deployment is working. What are we going to see in this video? First I will show you how to enable the automatic registration and tell you what you need for the automatic registration process with our UMS. Next step is to configure some default directories and as last step we will test our configuration and we will take a look if everything is working like we expected. To start with our Zero Touch deployment, we have to prepare two things. First thing is that the thin client, the new thin client, needs some information where to find the management server. This you can do with DNS entry or DHCP information. To find how to create this, just go to IGEL eDocs and search for automated. Auto, automated. And then you will find a page about the automated rollout process. Here are the options explained. So you have to create an IGEL RM server DNS entry with the IP address of the management server or you can use the DHCP option 224 and put the IP address of the UMS server into this option. The option has a advantage that you can create different configuration uh, for the automated rollout process for different parts of your company. So maybe you only want to do this in your branch offices but not in your lab, then you can configure this only for your branch offices. Next step we have to prepare is in our UMS administrator. Here we will find the option to enable the automatic registration. This will give the UMS server the option if there's a new thin client, he will register it to our management server, to the database, and then if you want to, you can create default rules for where to put which client. Okay, we prepared everything for the automated rollout process. Now let's take a look how to configure the default directories. So there are several different ways how customers use the function. I will talk about the most used functions. The first one is to create a staging directory where all the new thin clients will go and get some basic configuration so that the user can just start to work with his Citrix storefront or whatever. The other option many customers use is to really define, for example, based on the IP address, which thin client belongs to which folder. And this is what I want to show you here. So I will prepare, for example, my folder Bremen with an another background image so that we can see something if the thin client is booting up. And then we go to MISC and click on default directories. Here we can configure which client has to go to which folder. So click on the little plus and then you choose your default directory for this rule. For example, now I will go for thin client that belongs to my branch in Bremen. Then we have a lot of options here. So override existing directories um, is clear, I think. So if it is already in a directory, then it will be moved to another directory if this rule is matching to the client. Then we can decide to apply this rule every boot if the thin client is booting. So you have every time a standard in your UMS where which client is. This is useful, like for example, if thin clients are moving between branch offices. And then you can hit the button for leave and sub dear. So if you have the folder Bremen, for example, and then you have the departments below Bremen. You don't want that the thin client switches back to Bremen if you apply the rule to the thin client and then it will be left in the subdirectory. Then I will take the criterion last known IP address. You see there are some other options you can take, for example, the name, the network name, product name, whatever. Interesting also is the structure tag. So you can use DHCP to put some information in the tag in the option 226 and then you can read it with our directory rules and use it for moving thin clients into the directories. So I will specify the IP range here. Oh, sorry.
For example, this is a range I know. It's my branch office in Bremen. And I know if a client has this IP address, it belongs to this folder. The next, you can narrow the criterions or create additional search criterions like you already know from our views. So take a look to the views video and then you will see how to increase or decrease the amount of clients that are affected by this rule. Now we created the rule that if we have a client that is in the IP address range we specified, he will be added to the folder Bremen. So let's save it. And now we will try what will happen to a new thin client if we power it on. So now you see the brand new thin client came up with the blue default background image, but during the boot process he contacted our management server and if we go here and refresh our server inventory, we will see we have a new thin client included in our management server without anything we had to do. And during the first boot the client got the conf configuration and everything changed like we wanted him to happen. And this is how our zero touch deployment is working. If it's not working on the first try, be sure that you activated the automatic registration and that the DNS entry or the DHCP tag is set correctly. Often is a problem with the DNS entry if you cannot resolve IGEL RM server without your full qualified domain name. So be sure IGEL RM server is resolvable by the thin client or the DHCP tag is sent to the thin client correctly. Enable the automatic registration and then you can create the rules and use our zero touch deployment. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our pre-sale support or take a look to our IGEL eDocs. Have a nice day.